Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have some really easy Dollar Tree DIYs. So I took these four wood pieces and I stained the big piece with this worn navy wood stain, but I decided that it wasn't right for this project. So I took some folk art paint in the color Ink Spot and I brushed it on and then wiped it off. And the big piece is what I had used the stain on. So you can see, um, the difference of putting a stain on first and it turned out really pretty you can't see see so much on camera so i might do that in the future try the stain and then the paint on top so i'm using my cricut joy and i found all these really pretty celestial pictures that i wanted to use so the first thing i did was went to the cricut design space app on my phone then i clicked canvas and then i clicked for the images, I wrote in, I'm just trying to read it, <laughs> Sun Tarot Card. Yeah, that's what I wrote, Sun Tarot Card, because I'd seen some really pretty ones when I was browsing through it. So there was a sun and then a star one, and obviously that's the theme for this video. So I'm just scrolling through, just have to scroll through until you find what you want. So once it's in the canvas, I clicked edit and I set the width to three inches because that's the size that I needed for this. And then once I did that, I just clicked make and then I used, I clicked on mat and then I connected it to my Cricut Joy and the Cricut Joy is just Bluetooth. So once that's connected, next I clicked a Smart Vinyl Permanent and then the next thing I do is feed the mat into the machine and then it measures the length of the material and then you click OK and then it will start cutting your picture. Next thing I do is peel it off the mat and then I put the sticky bit back on the mat um, because the mat is sticky so it holds the vinyl. So once I take that off I just peel off the outside parts and you just basically weed out all the parts that you don't want to be in your picture. And then once you've weeded it, you take the transfer tape and you stick it down. And I forgot to do this part. <laughs> you have to go over it with the, that little tool. I got these tools in Dollar Tree, but you can buy the Cricut ones if you want. But I wanted to get the cheap stuff because <laughs> it does the same job. So here I am. I'm just trying to, I'm just putting the ruler there to measure so that I can get it in, like I put it on and evenly and then use that wee tool again to make sure the sticker sticks, the vinyl sticks and then you just carefully pull off the transfer tape and these are the other ones I made and all I'm going to do now is dry brush the outsides and the sides um, with the folk art gold metallic paint and it's pure gold, the one that I used. And I do that for each of the pieces. And then taking some of the Dollar Tree wood glue I just put some on the back and then put in position and then I leave it to dry. Then 
Now that it's dry, I'm just going to hot glue some of this beaded garland from the Dollar Tree on it so that I can make it into a sign. I just make sure I use lots of hot glue. And this is it. I just think it's so beautiful. I love it. It reminds me of when I was a teenager and I had blue wallpaper with gold suns, moons and stars all over it. And since I love this piece so much, I decided to use up other things in my craft room that I've had for a long time. I used the ink spot paint again to paint this little wooden pencil holder that I had for like about a year in my craft room and I decided to use it for this because I just didn't know what I was going to use it for. So I painted it and dry brushed it with the gold paint and then I found this other sun to put on it and it's just the same the same thing. <laughs> I didn't want to show me doing it all again and I basically just do the same thing for each of these items but I wanted to show them that you could put it on you can put the vinyl uh, on different surfaces and make different things. You can make them make little gifts for people. I'm going to give this to one of my friends, well, probably all of it to one of my friends. I just dry brushed some more around the outside. And I just filled it with some reindeer moss and a succulent from Dollar Tree. We could always use it for pencils, whatever you want. But I decided just to make a little planter with it. And I've got four of the little cubes from Dollar Tree. And I forgot to film half of this. So it's going to cut off. But it's basically just doing the same thing again. But with the little wooden cubes. And this is how they turned out and I think they turned out really cute. Let me know what you think in the comments about these projects so far. This is just one of the little cardboard boxes from Dollar Tree and like the cubes and ha I had them for about a year and didn't know what I was going to do with them so I decided to use it, this <laughs> use it for this video too. So I painted it with the ink spot and I found this um, really pretty moon picture so I am just sticking it on the top and then I'm going to dry brush the outside of the box and all these projects were really easy um, not like <laughs> what I usually do uh, so I did enjoy making them so I'll definitely be using my Cricut more often and this is how it turned out. It's just a wee trinket box, but I think it turned out really pretty. And then I have this little, it was actually plastic, uh, jar, bottle and a vase. And I don't use it, the, I don't end, <laughs> I end up not using this one. But all I do is paint the inside of the jar and the vase and I gave it two coats and here I'm just wiping it down with some alcohol because my fingerprints were all over it. And I picked these two pretty sun pictures. And well, one is the sun and one is a sun and moon and stars. And I just had to use up all the pretty pictures that I seen <laughs> when I was browsing on the Cricut design space. So same again and I painted the inside of the vase because I still wanted it to look like glass and I wanted the surface to be smooth so that I could put these pictures on it. And it went on perfect as well even though the, the, the vase is a round shape.
And yeah, sometimes little bits don't want to stick, but you can fix them. And I love how these turned out as well. I just put some eucalyptus from Walmart inside it. And yeah, it turned out, it turned out really pretty. I'm really happy with them. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.